another season upon us on the eve of week one of the CFL regular season. Means he's back again. Wants to show off his uh, prognosticating prowess is uh, the premier of the province, Premier Brad Wall. Thanks again for your time. Jamie, very happy to be here. Glad that the season's about to start. Glad that that the picks are going to continue. Most important question I have for you. Yes. Are you making a cameo in the uh, Corner Gas movie? No, I have no idea. I I doubt it. There has been no uh, contractual uh, negotiations going on back and forth between you and the uh, producers on this? If if there's some sort of an invitation, would you act as my agent? (laughs) Uh, You ask uh, Drew Romenda how terrible I am at negotiation. Uh, We had this conversation up in Saskatoon uh, for training camp, so I would recommend you go with somebody else. I'll uh, maybe Drew. I'll yeah. check with Drew. Drew? Yes. He he's uh, someone he's an angry angry man. He could be a good agent. <laughs> I'll I'll let him I'll let him in on that. Did you <laughs> did you did you hear who were uh, giving a show uh for 3 hours every game day during the game for the fans to call in and weigh in on what's happening? Did you did Is you it hear the about King? Is it date night? It's it's the King. I know. Gary I... the King Nickel and Scotty Vickers the producer of the Green Zone. Have their own show. This rumor has uh, absolutely ripped through the halls of government. <laughs> the province is abuzz with this. Uh, this might be happening. It's it's is quite Scott the. Prepared, it, is Scott prepared for this? Is the question. It's working with the king, I don't know if he is. He thinks he is, but I don't know. Uh, Gary, any advice for uh, young uh, young Scott? Well, you know, just uh, just try to sound as pretty as you look. <laughs> that's that's usually what I try to do. I try to get by based on my looks, and it's got me this far. So uh, this is uh, radio, not television, isn't that right? <laughs> yes. Kind of hence, tells hence a bit the of a story there, Mr. Here. Premier. Come on, you guys. How are you doing, Keep King? up with me here. As uh, we uh, go, we look at Premier's picks. I believe the record last year was well, Gary lost. Yeah, and, I did, and it was ugly. I think actually the gnome is. Do we have Angus on board again this year? If well, pe- people knew the premier's picks, of course there was the gnome and Angus got lost in PEI. I don't. I forget what he was doing. Got lost at the beach, hanging out with the uh, premier of PEI or something. Uh, and then we uh, <laughs> we had another gnome in his stead last year, and I don't. I don't know what we're going with. And of course the gnome goes opposite everything the premier does. Yeah, I, I don't have another gnome, but I, I. Why don't we just? We should start this week and give ourselves a week to hit, listen, maybe to input from uh, listeners and determine uh, who should be the foil for this season. I'm going. I think it should be Fake Gainer on Twitter. Hey, uh, you know on, on, uh, I, I follow Fake Gainer, and if he's in, I'm in. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Yeah, well, I think uh, the trash we'll, talking. Will, he'll take it to another level. We'll, the, we'll invite. F- we'll invite Fake Gainer okay. on uh, for uh, Premier's picks well, to see well, if he can well, weigh in each and every week. Let's do it for this week, Jamie, though, just in case he's okay with it. And if he's not, it'll be too late. Yes, absolutely. The, la- the last thing I need is another person to lose to, you guys. Like, come on. It's embarrassing. <laughs> you told me this already. was going to be your year. Well, I was trying to. I'm always talking positive, but you know me. I like to get hot and then get real cold when it comes down to it for You're some weird guy. reason. Let that be a warning to any future person uh, thinking of marrying Gary Nichol. He's really into it, and then by the end, he cools off. He cools off on the entire thing. Cold feet, he's out. A couple That's, days after. On yeah. the new show, maybe don't say quite so much, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, like I always say, one step at a time, one day at a time. You know, that's the way she goes. That's uh, what like, Gary. Gary's a great job at digging that hole and then uh, having trouble finding the ladder to climb back out of it. Yeah, uh, I, I just stay there. I live in that hole. It's a terrible time. The, the, the other, hole, the hole of honesty, though. The <laughs> other big question I had for the premier was his prediction on Corey Sheets. Of course, today Hugh Charles signed on the practice roster for the Riders. The former Rider went to Edmonton. Now back again. They have Tostin and Allen in there. I I think Corey Sheets has a shot at the Oakland Raiders with uh, the band aid of Darren McFadden. Uh, and maybe the uh, also elder MVP. statesman of Mo Joe Drew. I, I kind of think you might be right. Um, I haven't seen anything, and I try to follow the media from down there, the sports coverage of the, the coverage of the Raiders OTAs, and so I haven't seen anything one way or the other. Most of the talks about MGD or McFadden. So, um, but I kind of think he's got a. I think he does have a shot down there uh, because uh, McFadden, if he, even if he is healthy through camp, you know, it's two weeks in and. There'll be there'll be some issue and he'll be out. Gary, what do you, what do you think? I really really hope that it's all about the sheets because I, I one of my favorite things is watching guys in the CFL succeed in the NFL. 
It makes me feel so good inside because it's like, oh, those are my guys. Like the whole dresser thing makes me so happy. She's getting all that love, and that's the love we're not seeing from Sheets right now. But at the same time, I think MJD has been pretty pretty beat up for the last couple of years, so he's probably done. Run DMC is looking very old as well, and I'd have to agree with the Premier that this, is, this might be his chance. And if he, All you need is that one big game, hey, guys? And once you get that one big game in you, then the sky's the limit. And I think he'll get that option sooner rather than later. It'll be the last preseason game uh, that'll tell a lot. Um, that's the, usually against Seattle. I'm sure it is this year. It'll tell a lot about where he is on the in the game plan yeah. for the Oakland Football Raiders. And and if he doesn't make it, what's when's the soonest he can come back, you guys? I don't uh, know the answer to that. Well, Jamie. last uh, last round of cuts will be late August, uh, and then he might stay on waivers for ten days. So probably in the middle of uh, September, early uh, September ninth, in there sometime is usually the when you start to see those guys coming back. Unless he doesn't want to go on waivers to, for 10 days, he can ask for uh, outright release and all that stuff to come back to the CFL. Well, from my, uh, you know, in terms of the riders, though, from my I-don't-know-anything perspective, this early in the season, and arguably even as the season progresses, my level of rider knowledge will be the same. But Tostin, to me, looks good. You were yeah. at camp, Jamie. What did you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. I yeah. thought this was the guy. Absolutely no doubt about it. But... Well, I, yeah, we'll who, see. Who, who would you guys rather have, Tolson or Sheets? Oh, well, there's no question about that. <laughs> exactly. That's, so don't that give is, me that. Don't is give obvious. me that. It is. Well, Keith Tolson, yes, for now he's might be all right, but well, there's still a fight to be won with you, Charles, uh, coming back. But it is time now to get to the first week of picks Ooh. here on uh, Premier's Picks with the Premier Brad Wall. I'm I'm gonna come in on this this year just All right. just oh, great. just to really help out Gary's chances. <laughs> the last thing we need is an expert in this. And we've uh, thrown it out on Twitter to get uh, fake gainers uh, picks for uh, this season as well. Uh, Premier Wall, you can kick us off with tomorrow night's opener, Toronto Winnipeg. I like Toronto. I like Ricky Ray against Drew. Uh, see, and every everything just tells me to go against the Premier. Because I just I want to get that early lead, but I I also have to take Toronto. Yeah. It's just too obvious. That is what got you in trouble so much last <laughs> no. season is going against the Premier. Just I know. <laughs> always out thought, always out thinking yourself. Montreal Calgary is the second game. Hey, but wait, are you picking at the end, Jamie? Are you going to do all your games at the end, or do you want to pick now? Oh yeah, Toronto. Okay. Sorry, Roger that. <laughs> I thought it was obvious, but Gary tried to hum and haw around it. Montreal yeah. Calgary. I, I'm going to Calgary that preseason interception festival against BC, but I'm still going Stamps there at home. Well, this is where I'll make my move. I'm liking the uh, the whole new era in Montreal with Mr. Smith, so I'm going to take the Owls. Smith to Ojo Cinco. Yeah, Love that's it. why that's why I'm Love taking it. Calgary. <laughs> uh, John Cornish running all over them on uh, Saturday night or Saturday afternoon. Then Saturday night, the Eskimos in BC, Premier Wall. I like Kevin Glenn to win. Oof. Like it, BC over Edmonton, Gary. I also like BC in that one. He is starting. I don't think uh, Lule's not back, is he? No, Kevin Glenn. Uh, well, Lule is out at least a week. It looks like he's on the one game, maybe beyond that. That shoulder is not even close to one hundred percent. I don't like his chances. I'll, I'll also go with uh, BC on this one. And the final game of the week, of course, we know full disclosure is the Premier of the Province. The Premier is taking Saskatchewan. I always like to get a uh, point differential from the Premier, though. How many points are they going to beat him by? I think they're going to beat him by a touchdown. It, is Fantuz Ooh. out for the game? Yes, yes. Fantuz is out. Touchdown. Wow. Based on the closeness of that uh, score that's being predicted, I'm going to take Hamilton. Be the bad guy. <laughs> I was, I'm also taking the uh, Hamilton Tiger wow. Cats to start the season. I think Ken Austin's going to have them fired up to return to Mosaic after uh, the loss last season in the Grey Cup. Do they have a quarterback, though, guys? Zach Caleros. I know. Or, well, I know. That's, my, that's kind of my point. Or Dan Lefevre or Jeremiah Masoli. Also my point. We're really missing our jokes today, aren't we, Mr. Premier? <laughs> also my Those other ones' names were also my point. <laughs> we'll see, though. Yeah, we'll see. You never know. That's why they play the game, fellas. That's why they play the games. And well it, said. So is fake, fake gainer automatically for this first week, if he doesn't get his picks in, he's opposite of whatever I picked? Is that... Yes. Can I move he, that he motion? Takes us that the gnome. He's the newest gnome. All right, that's agreed. We're uh, putting it out there on Twitter right now to fake gainer uh, make his picks on uh, his uh, four selections 
for the week, and we'll uh, let you know if Fake Gainer's in. It looks like it on the tweet machine. All right. That is Premier's Picks. Premier Wall, as always, a pleasure. We'll talk to you again next week and see how badly you demolish Gary the King Nickel. <laughs> it's great to be back, guys. Thanks. <laughs> right the there is Premier Brad Wall. Gary, uh, have, a, have a great show on Sunday. They debut of the uh, Fan Zone with Scotty and the King. Thank you so much, Jamie. I'm really pumped. During the game from 5 until, of course, the final whistle when the Green Zone postgame show takes over right here on Home of the Fans, News Talk 980 CJME.